We're learning that 66 Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department personnel and 13 local lifeguards are all in quarantine after three firefighters and one lifeguard tested positive for the virus. A source also tells us nine additional firefighters are in quarantine right now. We're working on official confirmation from JFRD. This comes as Florida now officially has more than 100,000 reported cases. Nearly 3,000 new cases were reported in just the last 24 hours. That marks the fifth highest one day new case total since the state started tracking. Also, 12 new deaths linked to the coronavirus were reported today, bringing the statewide death toll to 3,173. Here in Northeast Florida, Duval County saw an increase of 183 reported cases. St. John's County reported 35 new cases, while Clay County reported 25. The statewide increase in cases comes as Governor Ron DeSantis refuses to issue a statewide mandate mask order. And as reporter Mike Vasalinda shows us, that's despite the governor saying he knows the disease is spreading. This line of cars stretched more than 100 deep and around the corner for hours end. One woman told us her daughter works in a restaurant where someone tested positive. How old is she? 24. And another told us... My son was exposed and I was home with him for like 10 minutes. And while we were at the front of a line, a corporate restaurant worker was getting tested after a co-worker also tested positive. The problem, she says, is that she heard it from another co-worker, not the restaurant. It wasn't until I called my manager until I found out that... That it was so you don't think they were giving you enough information? No, not at all. On Saturday, the governor acknowledged that people in their 20s and 30s were spreading the disease. You know, we're seeing positive tests at increasing rates, uh, which suggests that you're seeing uh, increasing transmission, particularly amongst that group. But when asked, he declined to issue a mandatory mask order. Uh, I've not preempted locals from doing uh, you know, what they think is right. But at the same time, um, you know, you have to enforce that. And a Clearwater doctor says this line is only going to get longer unless the governor takes severe measures. Do something quickly today, tomorrow, at the latest. At least mandate mask wearing indoors for everyone. At least do that. And while the governor isn't biting, the Department of Health did reissue a health advisory asking people to wear a mask when they can't socially distance. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. Coming up on News for Jacks at 6, reporter Jim Pickett will break down local cases even further, showing us how many people are impacted by zip code and which areas are being hit hardest.